Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to solve this nice algebraic equation. The equation we have m times m times m minus m times m is equals to 100, where we need to find out the value of m. So let's get started the solution. In the first step, we have the same basis. So I'm going to add up the power here. So this will turn to m to the power of 3. And here minus, we have one power on it. So m to the power of 2 is equals to 100. Now next, I'm going to take this 100 to the left-hand side m cube minus m square minus 100 is equals to 0. Now I'm going to split this 100 m cube minus m square. This I'm going to write 125 minus 25 give us 100 is equals to 0. Now I'm going to multiply this bracket with the sign. So m cube minus m square minus and this I will going to express in the form of power so 5 to the power of 3 give us 125 minus minus plus and this I will going to write 5 to 10 give us 25 is equals to 0. Now I will going to rearrange according to the power so here I will going to write m cube minus 5 cube minus m square and this I will going to write in bracket plus 5 square is equals to 0. So this will turn to m cube minus 5 cube and minus m square and minus plus minus 5 square is equals to 0. Now here I will going to apply the algebra guarantee that is a cube minus b cube is equals to a minus b a square plus a b plus b square a square minus b square is equals to a minus b a plus b now i'm going to apply here this formula and on this place i'm going to apply this so that Equation turns to m minus 5 and then m square plus 5m plus 5 square bracket close minus and then I'm going to write this here m minus 5 and m plus 5 is equals to 0. Now, next, I'm going to take common here of m minus 5. So, here, m minus 5. And here, this m square plus 5m plus 25. Here, we have the minus sign. So, minus. Here, this, we took the common. So, here, m plus 5 is remaining is equals to 0. Now I'm going to simplify this further. M minus 5. Here M square plus 5M plus 25. And this minus M. This minus plus minus 5 is equals to 0. Now I'm going to add up here the like terms. It will turn to M minus 5 and M square. Here we have positive 5m and negative m. So here we get positive 4m. And I will get 25 minus 5. I will get 20 is equals to 0. Here we get the two cases. m minus 5 is equals to 0. Here we get the first m value that is 5. Now next I will going to solve this expression. That is the quadratic equation m square plus 4m plus 20 is equals to 0. Here we have the a, b, and c value. Now we're going to apply here the quadratic formula. m is equals to minus b plus minus root 
b square minus 4ac over 2a and the a value we have a and b we have 4 m is equals to minus 4 plus minus root 4 square minus 4 and here we have 1 and that is c is 20 over 2 and 1. So this will turn to m is equals to minus 4 plus minus here this will be 16 minus and 4 20 times give us 80 over 2 m is equals to minus 4 plus minus now we're going to solve it out i will get root minus 64 over 2 now i will going to separate this negative sign so i'm going to express this equation m is equals to minus 4 plus minus root 64 times negative 1 over 2 and we have the root negative 1 is iota that's the imaginary number first i will going to express this in this form by using the radical property So that equation turns to m is equals to minus 4 plus minus root 64 times root negative 1 over 2. Now this equation turns to m is equals to minus 4 plus minus and the root of 64 we have 8 and iota over 2. Now we're going to take common here of 2 negative 2 plus minus 2 4 time give us 8 over 2 here it is and this get cancelled so m is equals to negative 2 plus minus 4i so here we get the two more values of m m2 is equals to negative 2 positive 4i and m3 is equals to negative 2 negative 4i these are the complex solution we get and the m value that is 5 so this is the real solution so thank you so very much for watching my video if you like my video please do subscribe to my channel